We go back to Dakar now where our Anne Look is standing by. We were just telling you earlier that the um, Prime Minister of Mali, Sheikh Modibo Diara, resigned unexpectedly. And Anne, you are going to kind of give us some inside information. It seems he was forced out of uh, office. What happened? Um, around 10 or 11 o'clock last night, a group of soldiers loyal to the military junta that, that if you remember, overthrew the previous the, the elected government on March 22nd, came to interim Prime Minister Sheikh Bojara's house, um, forced him into a car, and took him to Makati military camp, which is just outside Bamako, and has been kind of the base of operations for this military junta. And our, a few hours later, he appeared on state television, essentially in the middle of the night, and read a very short statement, not even, not even a minute long, resigning his post, um, resigning his government, thanking his, you know, collaborators and wishing the next group success. But he really didn't give any specific reasons for why he had resigned, and he reportedly remains under house arrest in Bamako. Now, some reports are saying that he was uh, in the room with Captain Sanogo and something to do with them not trusting him. Do you know why the, um, the army or the, the soldiers um, tried to force him to resign or made him resign? You know, it was a bit surprising because he was originally seen as someone who was close to the military and close to Captain Sonogo, who was, you know, the leader of this military junta. And it seems that in the past few weeks they've had a few falling out over, in particular, over the military intervention to the north. Um, when I spoke with the junta spokesperson this morning, he told me that it had to do with um, the prime minister was seen as as prioritizing his own personal agenda and his own political career above of the, quote, interests of the nation, which are, you know, to liberate the North from al-Qaeda-linked Islamist militants and to organize, you know, free, fair, and transparent elections in, in, in the South, or in the entire country, but in Bamako. Does this explain why the president, Dionkunda Traore, was not affected in this resignation? That he's seen as more loyal or he's seen as more in charge? Or these reports that it's really the army or the soldiers that are in charge, Sonogo and his team? I, I think one of the things we can pull from this still very confused situation is that who's really pulling the strings and who's really in charge is still perhaps the Hunza or, you know, th this idea that the civilian interim government can continue to go about their business, but if at any time members of the Hunza do not like what they're doing, they will they will step back in. So I think that's what we can that's what we can pull from this. Interim President Jim Kundatari has not yet responded to what's happened. Um, I know Malians are waiting for him to speak, perhaps on national television later today. So okay. um, it's pretty unclear what his reaction to it is. Well, thank you so much. Anne Look will be following up on this. That's Anne Look, uh, VOA correspondent reporting live from Dakar.